Good morning everyone. Good morning everyone. I am about to do a four hour return walk around Picton. And to get there you need to cross a small bridge and this is now yeah, pretty much the highest point I could get here. So let me just show you a round view of the Picton Harbor. Right, more mountains, more water, more boats. Pretty much the usual stuff, isn't it? So I hope you don't get too bored of it because I won't change this at all because I can't change the landscape here. So just bear with me and join me on my walk. And I want to do the harbor view walkway track, but sadly, danger, danger. It is closed. So I need to do the children's walk, which my legs will probably enjoy. But I wanted to get a nice harbor view. So what? Yay! Found another path through the uh, harbor view. And I hope I just uh, I don't just walk up there. And near the end they tell me, oh wait, no, it's blocked as well. So, harbor view. Up there, somewhere. I hope. Due to my inability to read signs, I took a wrong turn, which cost me about an hour. <sighs> I hate signs. And now I'm headed out to the snout. If you look at a map of Picton, um, there's like uh, a bay up there. And the tip of it is called the snout. Named after the snout of, I just read a sign, I think, um, a sandworm. Long, long time ago. This here is the snout of the mountains near Picton. And it's basically nothing again, it's just, well, there's a bench up there. Yeah. And then the view. Well, you couldn't be any further out of the country. No. So this is the tip of this landmass here. And there are a lot of other parts of it and small islands around it. Here. Islands, islands. What you can also do, which might be kind of a bad idea, is take this beaten path here. I don't know where this leads, and certainly nowhere good. But, oh. Let's check out the view from there. Oh oh. Oh oh. Oh oh. Nah, I don't think I want to fall down there. So, better head back. I got my harbor view after all. Just took another way on the way back. Now headed towards the hostel and I came across the harbor and I've got a nice view. So I think I'm near the harbor view. And yeah, as usual, I just turn the camera around and show you a bit of mountains and water and all that. See, mountains and water and all that. I think I need to find a better way to show you stuff um, besides just turning the camera around. Anyways, Picton is beautiful. Not too far from my hostel, there's this, I don't know, a junkyard or something. And they've got an awesome truck on sale. I want to buy that and then live and work in it for the rest of my life. Um, too bad it's $35,000. So no way this is gonna happen. But this is so cool. And apart from that, I'm now done with my walk. Kill me, don't kill me. And went grocery shopping, which I should not do when I'm bored, because now I bought uh, far too much. And I'm only staying here for two more days, so I now have to eat for the rest of the day.
so I don't think I will be filming that. We're out looking for mussels. For people and so far no luck. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's a massive. That rock. Wanna get that rock out? Oh, yeah. That's a good one here. Yeah, take the rock. <laughs> no, we should, yeah. I don't know a lot. We should just take the rock with us. So we're back. It was quite successful. I now lost half my pants. And my shoes are completely wet. Not my wisest decision. But it worked out great, we've got um, a lot of mussels, so I start to cook them now. Four people, four gazillion mussels. Going to be great, awesome, cool, muscly. <laughs> 